I'm Ron and I'm back again, you know, already with another round of sports reviews. Tonight I am reviewing Toronto FC versus New York City FC, the Toronto FC home opener. Toronto FC wins 1-0 over New York City FC. A couple of contentious VAR decisions. We'll get to that after I talk about the game summary. First off in the 11th minute, Ifun Inyachi Achara scores off a cross. Taps it in, but he was a he was about a yard offside. VAR called it. Of course they would, even though it was going to be his first career goal. And Ted Uncle calls it back. I kind of have a problem with that. But I'll talk about that later. Then next, Toronto FC in the 35th minute have a call for a penalty. Moro goes down in the box. It looks like an obvious penalty. And... Looks like an obvious penalty, and they go to VAR, not a penalty. Pozuelo doesn't get his chance to show that he's rent-free in Sean Johnson's head again, because that is the best real estate in the city of Toronto, or New York even, because you can't get free real estate much, much anywhere else in Toronto or New York. Yeah, I had to make a real estate joke, of course. Of course. And then, in the 81st minute, nine minutes to go in the home opener, the rookie, Ifun Inyachi Achara, gets a cross from Richie Larea. It was deflected by a New York player. Achara basically bodies it in, heads it in, past Sean Johnson. He couldn't do anything about it. Toronto wins 1-0, gets their first three points of the season, Gets the three points that they should have deserved the whole game. And they're still rent-free in New York's heads. New York didn't get any revenge. And, you know, even if even though it wasn't Pozuelo, you know, I'm still going to use it as a title. Because you know what? It needs to be the title. Because it wasn't Pozo Mania 2 because it was technically his one-year anniversary. Because I know, like, two games from now, it's his one-year anniversary for first game of the club. But it's New York in the home opener. Do you want to say, oh, what about D.C. or Nashville? I think it's D.C. I think it's D.C., isn't it? Yeah, I think. I think it is. But, no. It's New York. This is his basically one-year anniversary. I think even he would look at it like that. K.J. looked at it like that. Everybody looked at it like that. So, uh, I mean, it's about the one-year anniversary of him signing with a club anyway, so counts doesn't it i think so too it's not pozo mania 2 it's rent free but who cares we still won three points is three points no matter how you slice it now let's talk about var because i said there was going to be a var rant i told you there was going to be a var rant i promised it win lose a draw well we won but i still got to do the rant so let's first talk about the achara goal or the achara offside goal that would have been his first of his career where he could have got a brace in his first career game I know depressing isn't it here's the thing I know VAR is better in the MLS than it is in the Premier League get it get it I agree but here's the thing I still don't like VAR I don't like it at all because here's the thing with VAR you're like it never football never needed it before football never needed VAR before and to take away a goal like that, somebody's first career goal, in 10 minutes in their first game, just because, oh, he was a yard offside. I think it was a deflection by a New York player anyway. I could have seen it. But really? Really? That's depressing. Because here's the thing about this. I don't think any player, I don't think any player wants that goal taken away. I don't think any referee wants that goal taken away. But you're telling me that he was just, oh, he was a touch offside. Touch. And it may have been deflected by a New York player. I think I saw it. I think I saw that. I'm going to call it off anyway. Be a giant arse. Be a wanker. You know why that's the, the referee's a wanker thing started from Toronto? I know it was a UK chant before, but what other MLS club has chanted that? Yeah, I know, I know. I'm bringing back some sad history. I'm bringing back the history that nobody wants to talk about. But we chanted the referees a wanker before. What's the point? Who cares? Let's just talk about it. Yeah, we chanted it. So what? So what? We chanted it. Honor it. Take it. 
don't be afraid to take stuff that whatever point being is is ted uncle's a wanker that was a wanker move and then to dig a hole even deeper by saying oh that that's not a penalty it was obviously a penalty lock stock and barrel the more i have more of a problem with the moro penalty the 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 shout i do because here's the thing that was a penalty. In what universe is that not a penalty? Even on Tatooine, that's a damn penalty. Even in freaking Futurama, wherever the hell that. Well, that is Earth, but that's a penalty. On the freaking absolution off a of tsunami, that's a freaking penalty. Everywhere you go, Japan, England, France, Canada, U.S., Mexico. South America, Central America, Guatemala, Guatemala. That's a damn penalty. That's a pen. Contact. He didn't get any of the ball. It was Moro's legs. And you're like, oh, but he dived. And then they checked it. And it looked more like a penalty than it did the first time. Pen. What universe? What universe is that not a penalty? I want to know the answer. I want to know the answer because... How is that not a penalty? If I was a ref, maybe I sh This is maybe why I'm not a ref. That's a pen. That's a pen. Maybe I don't know. Maybe I'm not because I'm not trained. But I can see it with my eyes. I have glasses for a reason. Because I'm... My eyesight's horrible. But I have glasses for a reason and I'm not afraid to use them. That's a pen. We agree? I think we all agree, except Ted Uncle. That's a penalty. Even New York's players probably agree that was a penalty. They know they got lucky because they know Pozuelo was probably going to score it. What are you doing? <laughs> VAR's a joke. The only reason it's better in MLS than it is the Premier League is they actually use the video screen. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure it out. Figure out VAR. Anybody. And if you have it, at least use the damn screen. But figure it out. Have problems with it. Figure it out. Figure it out. So let's get back to it. Great performances today for Toronto FC. Erickson Gallardo looked great. Great pace. Great passes. I liked what he was doing. Alro Jr. looked great. Pozuelo had great Runs, great pace. Josie looked better today, much better. He couldn't buy a goal, but I think that was some divine intervention trying to help New York get their revenge, but they still couldn't get it. Josie couldn't buy a goal, but he looked a lot better this week. I still don't rescind what I said, but he looked a lot better this week. Um, Richie Lorea looked awesome tonight. And obviously, Ifun and Yachi Achara. Beautiful game from Ifunyachi Achara as a rookie. Two, one goal taken away, a goal scored. Ball don't lie, Ted Uncle. Ball don't lie. Of course, he was the one to get the winner because uh, Achara. Because uh, ball don't lie. Ball don't lie, my friend. Let me tell you, ball don't lie. You blue wearing, well, whatever. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna name it. I'm not gonna insult a referee. Send the font. Send the check to my house. MLSE has my. Well, um, I bought. I've, we bought stuff from Real Sports before. They probably act. They actually do have my address. Send the check to my house. They actually do have my address because we bought stuff from Real Sports before. So MLSE does have my address. Send the check. Tell them to find my address and send it my way. Because I know MLS is going to want to find me for that. Because, <laughs> of course. Point being is his man of the match, Ifun and Yachi Achara, the rookie. It's Ifun and Yachi Achara season. I told you, people. I told you. And I'm going to buy a Unity kit for Ifun and, uh, Ifun and Yachi Achara Unity kit. You're damn right I am. I'll get a Josie kit next year. I'm getting an Achara kit this year. You know it already. New York fans, if I were you, 
Good luck against Tigres. You're going to need it. Toronto fans, enjoy the home opener win. We brought it home 1-0. Three points. We're still invincible. And yes, I'm going to say that every week because you damn well know I called it. We're still invincible. You know what it is? Check out the links in the description to still donate for the Australian fire relief causes. If you like this video, like it, share, subscribe. You know what it is. Tell all your friends. We're still rent-free in New York's heads and VAR is trash. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace. Let's go.